As the battle over whether to get rid of the Alaskan Way viaduct heats up, opponents of a new elevated freeway often point to what happened in San Francisco. Look at what Cairo 7 Eyewitness News senior political reporter Essex Porter found there. Supporters of tearing down the Alaskan Way viaduct say, look at San Francisco to see what we could have in Seattle. When we did, we found both similarities and differences. Nobody, nobody liked it. My grandfather used to talk crazy about it, and a lot of other people used to talk crazy about it. I used to talk crazy about it. I hated it. It used to be like a uh, warehouse district. You know, it was dark. San Francisco's Embarcadero Freeway once separated the heart of downtown from the waterfront. This freeway was like a scar on the side of the city, the eastern side of the city, from your forehead down to your jaw. When it was damaged in the 1989 earthquake, former mayor Art Agnos seized the opportunity to tear it down. The removal has been like uh, the most successful plastic surgery you could do on a city. Now the Embarcadero is a street-level boulevard lined by palm trees. The old ferry building with its clock tower is a shopping center. The trolley lines are among the city's busiest. The trolley cars are restored cast-offs from San Francisco's sister cities. There's even a tunnel used by the city's light rail commuter trains. On a driving tour, the former mayor showed off his handiwork. There's the Gap headquarters, world headquarters right there. He never would have come in here because the freeway came into the waterfront right there through that building where that building now stands. Just like the Embarcadero Freeway, the Alaskan Way Viaduct in Seattle stands between the heart of downtown and the waterfront. But those here who favor a new elevated freeway point to important differences. A map of Seattle shows the viaduct as one of only two major north-south throughways in Seattle. Sixty percent of viaduct traffic goes past downtown. By contrast, San Francisco's Embarcadero Freeway was not a throughway. It acted as a kind of super off-ramp from Interstate 80 to downtown neighborhoods before it was demolished. No one would tell you that it was easier getting in and out of the city. It took a little longer, but the, the significance was measured in uh, minutes. Two, three, five minutes. Chinatown looks prosperous today, but many fear the loss of the freeway connection, and it is still missed. You have to find another way to circle around to get into the city. You have to either take 7th Street or 3rd Street, and then you have to circle around for 15 minutes before you get to your destination. And while container ships left for the Port of Oakland long before the Embarcadero Freeway came down, both sides agree in Seattle the lack of a waterfront viaduct or tunnel could threaten at least 37,000 maritime jobs. In San Francisco, the controversy cost Art Agnos his bid for re-election. Small potatoes small potatoes. You know, the knowledge that you did the right thing lasts for a lifetime. And on the waterfront, there is now a small plaque in his honor. The lesson from San Francisco is that the rewards from removing a waterfront freeway may be greater than we can now foresee, but there is no getting around the cost and the risk. Essex Porter, Kyra 7 Eyewitness News, San Francisco.